Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this can be an energy of someone who is indecisive. This is someone who is feeling stuck. Um, they are putting off making a decision because they do feel like they need more information. So it's leading to a stalemate. So I'm seeing this person is a bit guarded and suspicious, and uh, there's a feeling of wanting to know more before moving forward. So it's like there's obstacles, yeah, there's barriers, blocks in communication. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Eight of Swords, Air Energy, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. So there's definitely a, a mutual desire for a relationship here. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's like you guys may want something long term. You want some sort of commitment with this person. They want it too, but there's fear around commitments or relationships. Um, this is someone who is struggling to see the connection from a positive lens right now with the eight of swords they feel uh powerless they feel helpless they feel trapped possibly like a victim in the situation like and the eight of swords is like it's their mind that's convincing them of this it's like a mental anguish or imprisonment that's being created here but this person feels like they can't take action right now they feel like their hands are tied and so I'm seeing like a delay or a pause in this connection, like things are just not happening because they see themselves as powerless. They feel like they can't make the first move or they can't, they feel indecisive and unsure and very, very fearful. With the strength card though, this person, they're not giving up on the connection because their heart is already invested in this connection. Um, they aren't taking action though. This could even be stemming from pride you know, that they feel like they can't make a move or initiate right now, their hands are tied. Uh, th this person does feel like this connection is a very strong and overpowering connection. Um, but at the same time, they, they triggers their fears. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for us. So we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this this person is experiencing a lot of anxiety. Um, the, with, with this card being in the reverse, though, it does look like there's going to be some sort of alleviation of this anxiety. Someone is going to get peace of mind, mental clarity. It could be coming from, it's like this is someone who needs a lot of reassurance. And once they get it, they can get this peace of mind. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the higher event, Taurus energy, the two of wands, fire energy, and the star, Aquarius energy. Okay, so this, there's definitely a, an energy of wanting to discuss commitments, wanting to discuss a higher level of commitment. This is something they want, uh, but for whatever reason, they, they, this person may not even have made this, like they haven't vocalized this in some way. And by not expressing their needs, they leave themselves in a position to not get their needs met. So I do see an opportunity to communicate more vocally about what they need from the connection, about how much reassurance they need. Because with the, the Hierophants, I do see you and this person talking things out and getting on the same page, coming to an understanding that you may actually want the same things. Um, but it's like this, this is a connection that's really forcing someone to mature or to grow. Like it's 
it's, it's pushing them, making them stretch. Because I do see this is someone who um, struggles with being vulnerable in some ways. Um, but with the star card, you guys may have the moments of clarity, pouring into this connection and being vulnerable with each other. Um, this is a connection that has the potential to really have a solid future. We have the Hierophant here and the Ten of Pentacles, which is very loyal, committed kind of energies here. But it does require planning and effort. This person often, when they're overthinking, they're thinking about the, the next steps, the future of the connection. Like they lose sleep over the thoughts about where is this going? You know, this person worries a lot. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. have a new start is coming new moon okay so there could be some sort of a, a new beginning happening for this connection after some sort of uh clarity is introduced okay so i'm gonna put another card for you We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, we have power and healing. To get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. Okay, so there's a level of patience that is required here. Um, this connection has the potential to be quite powerful, but it does look like it's not something that's happening overnight. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, so we have surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So someone is needing to really take back their power, empower themselves in a situation, um, stepping out of this victim mindset because this looks like a lot of mental stuff like mental imprisonment, negative thinking that is keeping someone stuck. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.